is good everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be turning my home garage into a paint booth. Now you know a couple of days ago I took the engine out of my EK which I really didn't have to do let's be honest it just blew a head gasket but I have a lot of upgrades I want to do and I want to fix a lot of things that I should have fixed right the first time that I didn't fix because I just wanted to drive the project. So I took the engine out and one of the things I definitely want to do is repaint the engine bay had a lot of flaking paint, I had a lot of Bondo in here, and it was really starting to yellow the championship white paint that's in the engine bay. So, I recently took the car over to get the engine bay sandblasted. If you want, you can go back a couple of videos on my channel, and you can see the whole process is really cool. Now, when we got it sandblasted, we found out that the old owner had tried to patch a bunch of holes in the engine bay, had done a really shoddy job trying to fill them, and then packed it full of Bondo. And, well, it looked really bad. So then I took my car over to my friend GSK Fab. He filled every one of the holes, did a professional job, looks absolutely fantastic. So now when I paint it, it's going to look really good. So. With all that being said, I have a lot to do. I need to turn this entire garage into a paint booth, hang up a lot of plastic, and then get to working. I have to primer, I need to sand, and then I'm gonna be paint. Um, now, I'm gonna be using a single stage paint, which means I do not have to clear. It already has paint and clear together, so I only have to paint it once or if I wanna put a second coat twice. Um, but a lot of people just use single stages on their engine bay because it's an engine bay and it's probably gonna get dirty. So that's the process I'm going to be doing. We have a lot to do. So with that being said, let's get to work. I am going to try to shoot this video kind of like an ASMR. This is what I'm doing. Um, and just pretty much me going through the process. Now I will say I am not a professional painter. I'm just going to put that out there. I have a lot of friends who do paint. Um, they pretty much have led me in the right direction on how to paint an engine bay. Uh, and I've done it before and it always comes out looking fantastic. So just putting that out there, I'm not a professional. But if you want to do it, you can do what I do, and it comes out looking really good. Attach the zip tie behind the rail so I can still shut the garage door. All right, now it's time for paint prep. I'm gonna be, I got another roll of plastic. I got some painter's tape. I'm gonna be taping off the fenders. I'm gonna take this hood off, tape up around the cowl. Um, I also use aluminum foil. If you've never used aluminum foil to cover up stuff when you're painting, I highly recommend that you do it. It's $1.25, it's cheap, and it's worth it. You just take off a piece that you think is big enough for whatever you're trying to cover and you just kind of crunch it on. It doesn't move, and when you're done, you take it off, put it in the recycle, and you're done. It's super simple, it's cheap, and if you've ever used the paper, it's a pain in the butt. Painter's tape can get all come loose, I mean, honestly, for small and large items, I would recommend using the aluminum foil. It's like genius. Somebody told me it and I used it once and I was like, man, I will never ever not paint without it. <laughs> so highly recommend it, but that's what we have to do next. So I'm gonna get started on that and that'll probably take me a little bit of time, but once we're done with that, it's time to primer. So let's get going.
we got the entire engine bay taped off. We used the aluminum foil, um, put tape in the holes with threads in them so no paint got in the threads. Um, pretty much made sure everything was covered up that I didn't want paint on. And then I went back with the wax and grease remover to make sure there was no contaminants in the engine bay. I know I had it sandblasted and it should be completely ready to go, but I went back with the paint with the um, grease and wax remover just to make sure there was nothing that was gonna cause a reaction with the paint or anything like that. And once I did that, I mixed the primer and I lay the primer and now I'm just gonna go sand it. So you lay it on to sand it off, I mean. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do now. I got all the sandpaper that I need and now I'm going to sand the entire engine bay that I put primer on and make sure I sand it till absolutely smooth and then we'll be ready for paint. So, be ready for some sanding footage because that's what I'm gonna be doing for a while. You know what time it is. It is time to mix some paint. I've got my reducer, I've got my paint, hardener, of course I've got the ratio cup and my gun. And once we put this all together, we can start painting. I have sanded the entire engine bay down. It is completely smooth. I took a long time doing it. I wanted to make sure that the finish came out really good. And then I'm gonna be doing two coats of this single stage paint, which means that the clear is already included in the paint. I will not be putting an additional clear on top. Um, a lot of people use that in engine bays. So about two coats um, on the engine bay and then we should be good letting it dry and then we can peel all the tape off and it should look really good. So that's our plan. Let's get some paint mix and let's lay some paint. And just like that, it's all done. It looks so good. Compared to what it looked like before when I took the engine out, we had flaking paint, the ugly seam sealer, the yellowing Bondo that was chipping off. This looks so much better. The surface is super smooth. It's shiny, it's glossy, it looks so nice. I'm glad I spent the time to do everything the right way because it clearly did pay off and it looks really nice. So all I have to do now is just really just take off all the plastic. I'm not gonna take it over to the shop right away because I have the Miata I'm working on for a little bit. But right now, it's gonna be staying in my garage, but let's take the plastic off and then you can see the, the full effect.
And that's it. The engine bay is completely done. And now to put the engine back in and get everything back together so we can drive this car around. Um, but I hope you liked this video. The next video, I'm not sure what's gonna be. I might do a car review, might be some more on track footage. I know I just did a video about my first ever Spec Miata race and you guys absolutely loved it. So there's definitely gonna be more racing footage on this channel. Um, but for now, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it and I'll see ya next time.